All right, I believe we're back. Thank you everyone for your patience. We are back on and ready to open this jewelry jar. I hope everyone is doing well. Let me know if you can hear me in the chat. I had to abort the other one. I don't know what's going on. I thought we had straightened out the issue with the live streaming. So let me know how it sounds. Welcome in. We're going to get started really fast on this jewelry jar because I have an auction to go to. I hold my auctions on Facebook and one is starting in about an hour. So hopefully we'll get through th this one. I don't remember if Robert bought this one or I did, but I'm hoping I might find something interesting, something new to bring to the auction or that I may want to keep. I don't know. Just never know what's in these bags. This is a $50 bag. It is a pretty good price. Most bags these days are in the 80 range. Hi, Miss Kathleen. Thanks for letting me know you're here. Lily, thanks for being here. And Joni, appreciate you very much. This is a live video, and you may catch it live or pre-recorded. So if you do see it pre-recorded, I'm speaking to a live, live virtual audience. And you can leave your comment in the comment section. But right now, we're doing it live. We're going to see what pops out of here. Haven't done um, very many live videos lately, but I hope this one is good. And I did have the internet looked at, but oh my gosh, you just never know with these things. You never know what's happening. And... Uh, I really love saying hello to all my friends, but I want to get through the jewelry as well. By friends, I mean subscribers, viewers, haters, trolls, everyone who's out there, I love you. Have a wonderful new year. Make it your best year ever. I plan to, even though it's always starting out with typical stuff, as we all know, but we just got to make it work. We just got to make it work. So happy new year to everyone. Thank you so much for being here. And let's see what is here. I have this calendar that I need to, I kind of like the big calendars for the desks, but I usually keep the, these on my desk at work. And then uh, I thought maybe I wouldn't get this thing so dirty so I can be ready for that auction. Starting in about an hour over on Facebook, my auction that is. This is kind of interesting, I like it. I like the colors, very nice. That is really pretty. Let me see if I'll move this. I hope it doesn't get in the way of the jewelry. Let me know, and I'll take it away. I just thought it would keep keep the um, the desk a little less dirty than it normally gets when I get through a jar. It's crazy how dirty it gets, right? Someone made a comment about that. I'm like, yeah, but, you know, someone's got to do this job. Might as well be me. We got a single earring. I do like that bracelet. I couldn't get it on though. So it is kind of small. And this is interesting. I think it has, oh my gosh, it's got a prayer. I can't tell which one it is, but it's very nice. It looks like it could be stainless. Let me see what it says, because I am curious. Oh, it's in Spanish. It's the Our Father in Spanish. Fantastic. It's the Our Father in Spanish is what it is. Okay, there it is there. And a little stretch, a little acrylic. I think I'm too close. A little stretch, a little acrylic there. I like the colors. That's pretty. What in the world? Oh, that's interesting. Magpie, I've heard of this. Now, is that a jewelry company or clothing or both? That's kind of cute. I don't know where I would put it, maybe on a blue jean jacket or something. Happy New Year, Tiggy, thank you for being here. Oh, look at this. Wow, this is, this is nice. I thought it was just one strand, but it looks like three. Let me move this, yeah, it's gonna be moving. Oh, I have to take that to work. Yeah. It kind of looks like leopard jasper, but it's not really. It looks like tiger jasper, if there's such a thing. And you know what? It's not even a stone. 
No, it's acrylic. It's so cute. It is really nice. Look at that. And then we have some, also all of this is acrylic. So these are kind of an ivory color, silvery color. This is fantastic. Can you see that beautiful design there? Kind of a tiger stripe more than a leopard. Very cool. I like that. That's pretty. Okay, let me move this thing over here a little closer. Tossing it onto a tray. Oh, wow. Look at this. This still, oh, this is for your glasses. This is actually cool. I've never seen such a cool one. And you know what's interesting? I thought this was one of those. Have you guys seen those necklaces that are actually for, for babies to teeth on? <laughs> That's kind of what it feels like, but it's not really like spongy rubber. Hi, Miss Becky. It's more like just like, like there's some, you know, some substance to it. It's very interesting. But these are not, I hate these things. I think nothing looks worse than these. Make They make you look like you're 150 years old, right? But not really. <laughs> not when they look like this or when they look like they have, well, I had one with lapis that my sister bought me. This one's a nice one. I like it. It's very, very on trend with those chunky necklaces. All right, this one has seen better days. So it's going in a crafter. Hello from Australia. Happy New Year. Welcome in, everyone. Thank you all who are here. Lily and Becky and T Tiggy and Gigi. She's from Australia, too. How are you, Gigi? Nice to, for you to be here. I appreciate it, Patricia. And I'm a, is it Annalisa? What a beautiful name, Annalisa. Again, I thank everyone who's coming in. If I don't say your name, it's only because I want to get through the jewelry before we spend two hours here. This is pretty, too. Now, there is some wear on that jump ring. But I love the pastel shades here. They look like little teeny mini bananas. They're like the shape of a banana. But they've got these wonderful pastel baby shades. Pink and blue and white. Kind of creamy white. Double strand necklace. Fairly long. That's pretty. Okay, I've got feathers. I see feathers coming out of here somewhere. Are those earrings? Believe it or not, feathers sell. What is this? What is this? I like, I would wear these as earrings. I think these are cool. But I think it's a necklace and it's tangled. Okay, come on now. See, they go inside of each other. Yeah, it's literally tangled up in here. And I'm afraid to pull it because it has to be twisted out. I don't think it was actually put on here, but look at this amazing necklace too. This is on copper, and this is just stuck in here. They're earrings. Look at that. They're super long beyond. These are breast dusters. Forget shoulder duster. These are brushing the breasts, I'm telling you. Yes. <laughs> but I'll have to get I'll have to get some tools to get those out. Cause I can see the, the little French hook there. Can you see it? They almost look like they're on sterling. And oh I dig them. I honestly do. I really, really do. The colors, they're ostrich feathers. And then they have like little turquoise beads, color, of course. And then this is a nice chunky necklace. <laughs> I won't go through the, whoa, I won't go through the, you know, detangulation here, but this is an amazing find. I adore these. I adore the breast dusters. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to wear those. Those are so cool. Those remind me of that dress I had in the 70s when I loved wearing that fringe and you know buckskin vests and dresses and I think it was Cher who came out with one on her show one night set trends as usual that everybody had one all right that's a little bangle it's threaded 
with some satin ribbon. I can see it's satin ribbon there. And then this is Lurex all wrapped around it. This one is a cute little stretch. It's, it appears to just be acrylic, but it has kind of a coral appeal about it, appearance. That's interesting, I like that. Okay, of course the, I wanna say Kukui or Kukai, cause somebody always tells me the name and I never remember it. They're Hawaiian beads or seeds or something. And this one's pretty in a chocolate brown. And honestly, people do love these to craft with. And I've seen people wear them too. They do look nice. Okay. I'm trying to get everything from the top so it doesn't get all tangled. Here's a little twist about. Oh, it feels sticky. I'm going to stick it in the ultrasonic cleaner. Or whatever it's called. Supersonic cleaner. It is brass findings. And these are brassy too. These are nice. But they feel a little sticky. So they definitely need a cleaning. And I don't think they actually... I don't know. No, they do look like they're purposely twisted a bit. Where's my... I'm trying to find my little display here. Here it is. I think they are purposely twisted. Is that angle okay for you or, or am I too far? Let me know in the chat. Thank you all who are here. 70 people, 20 thumbs up. If you leave the screen for just a minute, there's a couple of thumbs there. We always do the right thing and hit that thumbs up. Thank you so much. Okay. Oh, good for you, Lily. I hope you get better soon, though. Okay, these are for the... <laughs> for the strong, bold woman. Look at those. Wow, I could wear this as a choker. Again, these will go into a crafter lot unless someone is interested in them. <laughs> Again, if you ever see anything in a haul, let me know in an email. I don't have auctions here or sales here on YouTube. I have them on Facebook. These are huge too. But uh, people can find my email in the description box and just let me know. Wow, we. I'll have to um, take these to my classroom because I have girls that love this stuff and um, they may just like it. I like to put them in treasure chests and just offer it, anybody wants them, they can have them. Those young girls are not scared of anything. What is this? Let's see what is in here. Thank you again, all who are watching. I appreciate it very much. Oh, these are pretty. These are lightweight too. They're just, um, as soon, I mean, as soon as I saw these, I thought amethyst, but they're just acrylic, and they're very lightweight. They're in good condition, too. These are pretty. These days, with my hair, I have to wear something with color. So I'm going to gold or colored stones, colored metals, that kind of thing. But, I, I mean, I love a simple silver hoop, but honestly, they don't show up too much on me. Fashion jewelry, but beautiful. Is that glass? Let me bang it over here. It's acrylic. Nice cover on these two. Look, they put like new little cushions on them. These are really pretty. They have a classic look to them. Hi, Sherry from North Carolina. How are you? Thanks for being here. Here are some little stretchies. These are more for kids. I usually just throw these in a crafter lot as well. By the way, tomorrow I am having the live at 7.30 p.m. Central. I hope everyone shows up. We're going to talk a little bit about this and the other. Plus, I posed a question in my last live for some giveaways, and I'm going to reveal that and have that tomorrow. There was no clear winner, but that doesn't mean we don't all win. So please show up tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. Central. Same channel, same bat station, you know the drill. And uh, we'll do that. Oh, ooh, 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 look at this anklet. This is South Asian amazement here. I don't know how to hook it. Oh, there it goes. I think it goes in here somehow. But that's definitely an anklet. Let me put it on the display so you can see it better. Look how pretty. 
that's a gold metal, gold tone metal. It definitely goes on the ankle. These are glass beads. Oh my gosh, ba Bollywood, Pakistani, Indian, I don't know, it's just gorgeous. Look at that, little dangle beads. And it's too big for a bracelet, so it's definitely for the ankle, lovely. Lovely, probably a, a dance or something, folkloric, something like that. Oh, this is pretty. These Hi, everyone that's here. We have London in the house. Not, thank you so much for being here. We have Lupita from Houston. Howdy, my friend Lupita, neighbor. <laughs> I'm in Houston as well. This is gorgeous. Look at this. I love that. I love when they have the sparkle against the um, really kind of rustic metals here. And then there's some rhinestone here. Wow, this is really cool. It also feels a little dirty, and this was probably gorgeous in, in its day because this is gray velvet. Oh, it's so pretty. I may have to kind of pull that through there. That may have to be removed. I don't know. I'll try washing it all together, see if it turns out nice, and if it doesn't, I'll remove the velvet. But I like the look. It looks well done. Look, another one. Another anklet. Hi, Barbara. Thanks for being here. I love vintage. Thank you. I'll be doing more Thrift With Me videos very soon. I finally got myself a vlogging camera, and I'm learning how to use it. <laughs> Before I go out there, it's not that easy to get everything set up. Look at this in white. Are these not fabulous? Oh my gosh, they're so cute. They they look like, you know, modern, beautiful jewelry. I love it. Nice bangle. Always love the animal print. This actually looks, the way they textured it, it looks like it's pony hair, but it's not. It's some kind of, um, I don't know, resin or maybe some kind of enameling. It looks like a brass setting, brass base there, really cool. I like that. Very, very nice. We got some toe rings. Well, at least they're still packaged. And what is in here? This is some Y2K stuff, I can tell already. And somebody held it together with a bobby pin. Okay, that's interesting. I think this is sodalite with some brass little beads as well. That's pretty. These look so nice when they're all stacked up. They really do. And, oh, this is kind of pretty. Oh, yeah. Wait, is something mixed up with it? I'm liking the little tiny beads. And I think they're just, no, this is another kind of an exotic South Asian look. I often get that. We have, a, this is, um, Houston is considered the most diverse city in America, if you can believe that. Don't believe what everyone tells you about Houston. So we have jewelry from all over, and this costume jewelry that is Bali, people call Bollywood and whatever, it's just a generic term, but honestly, the South Asian jewelry shows up a lot in thrift stores. And some of it is very expensive because it's, they use really good materials to try to um, replicate the authentic stuff that's usually 22 karat gold. Look at this. Oh, okay, this is it too. Look, this is probably a headpiece. See, they had bobby pins on it. 
So this probably went around the head, maybe the forehead. Yeah, that's what I think. That's gorgeous. Look at that. That is really pretty. It could have been a bridal piece too, but it's definitely, it's a flexible wire. And I just pulled out another bobby pin from the other side. And those pearls, they're imitation, but they're very nice. A little spot on this one, but not a big deal. Very nice. And this looks like a sterling earring. Be nice to find the match. I don't see a mark, but it really does look like sterling. I have to take a loop, a loop to it. Let me see here. Yet another anklet. Okay, we're going to pile on the anklets. That is such a beautiful, beautiful piece. And I'm not, again, they're all kind of situated the same, so I'm not sure how to figure out the closure, but I love these little rhinestones. They're literally on metal, just like the old-fashioned ones that kind of, I don't know what they call it, but you can kind of move them. That is so pretty. We got a pool pass, okay. And this is a nice one. This is heavy enameling on brass. It looks, I don't, I can't tell. I guess it's just a metal that's been enameled. But this is definitely brass. It's very heavy, beautiful, needs a cleaning. This looks like just gunk from the jar here. But I, I really think that's interesting. Can you see the texture on that? Isn't that cool? I like that. What else do we have here? Oh, by the way, <laughs> people might be curious. I know Becky was curious about this ring, Becky, that I bought in a lot, and I almost sold it at my auction last week. Luckily, no one bid on it. <laughs> For $20. And I thought to myself, wait a minute, let me just double check if it has, you know, the maker's mark or anything. I thought it only had a 925 mark. Turns out it doesn't even have a 925 mark. It actually has an 18 karat gold mark. <laughs> I have since definitely, oops, that thing is filthy. What happened here? Um, I have since checked it with the acid tester and it is positively 18 karat gold. So just a lesson to everyone. When things are assumed to be a verme or a gold over sterling, they will not be marked. They will not be marked. They will only be marked 925. If it's a solid thing, if it's a solid accent, it will be marked. So that's what I was looking for, just to confirm the maker or to see if it was indeed just what I thought it was. Well, you can see that it's actually yellow all the way through and very well done. So lo and behold, there is no, there is no sterling mark. <laughs> it's 18 karat. And I said, okay, well, I'm going to check. And then since there was no, there was no bid on it, uh, it's, it's staying in the collection for a little while. <laughs> but that's just a little cautionary tale to everyone out there. Don't assume that everything is just as it seems. Always, always check. And then double check with your acid test. This is acrylic. Just a nice little fashion piece. Yes, and I had bought it in a lot. In an entire, I think I bought 24 rings from her. And she told me most of them are sterling. I think only two or three are costume. And I was happy with the entire lot. It was gorgeous. But then one of them turned out to be gold. So, wowie. This is a interesting very interesting earring there's like a solid little brilliant cut rhinestone diamond whatever the heck oh, it's not a diamond i'm sure but it's gorgeous isn't it cute single earring too though so let's wait on that and see what else we find and sorry for that interjection but i wanted to make sure i told not only becky who was curious because she thought i was talking about the jane about the joan rivers ring when i held the auction last saturday and I thought I would pass on a little bit of wisdom, you know, with my mistakes. We, we don't have to make them your mistakes. And luckily, it's a mistake I caught. And no one had bid on it, so I didn't have to uh, sell it. Because I don't play the game of discovering something and not letting it go. If there was a bid, somebody would have gotten very lucky. 
for $20. That's the way I roll. That's what auctions are. Uh, wonder. Well, that's why they're wonderful, in my opinion. This is Tangled too, but look at this. And it looks like it has something in it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Is that Thai? What they used to call Siam, right? It's tangled up in here. Boy, it's a big tangle. With a bracelet. Bracelet, I don't know if it's real copper. It looks like it looks like dyed. Just doesn't feel like it's real copper, but we'll double check that because I do like copper. And then that's a very interesting little bracelet. Is it Lucky Brand? Looks like it would be a Lucky Brand, but it doesn't have a swing tag, but it does appear to have lost its swing tag. So it does, I don't know, the aesthetics remind me very much of the style that Lucky Brand would put out. That's very cool. Thank you again, all who are here. 121 people, wow. I appreciate all of you being here. If you haven't subscribed, I hope you do it today. And please give the video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it so far. These aren't too bad. These are, these are not too bad at all. I have worn hoops this big, but they were a little thinner, and I really miss those hoops. I sold them. Those are really cute. I like that. Oh, this I think, I'm not sure if these are the ones that are for teething. Let me know what you know about these. These are rubbery, but I have run into that teething jewelry many times. Oh, look at this. Oh, thank you. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Is that not part of your echo, I mean, your deco dreams? The echo in your mind? They are of mine. Very cool piece. These are not missing. These are kind of an iolite color. Uh, rhinestones, rhinestones. All present. All present. Look at that. More rhinestones, more rhinestones. They have a kind of a box chain there, curb chain. Oh, this is cute. Who makes this? No maker on it. No ego. I cannot believe it. It's so gorgeous. I thought for sure it was going to be a J. Crew or something. Let's see if there's anything in the back. No. But I like the way it's made. I like the way everything is hinged and not just glued. Isn't that darling? Gigi, thanks for being here. Thanks all who, who are here. I really do appreciate you spending some time with me coming in for the live videos. Don't miss tomorrow's live video. It's going to be at 7.30 p.m. That, what is, okay, this is another one. This is yet another one that appears worn. Oh, that was cute at one time. I gotta take that off of there. Who made this, White House? No, this was BCBG. Those bows have to get out of there because this is a fantastic chain. But it has bow accents that are worn out Something else could be put in its place. Figaro, excellent condition on the gold tone. Look how cool. That is just awesome. And then this one. Thank you all who are here. Hi, Liz. This is long. Look at this beautiful thing. It's a butterfly. All the stones are there. It doesn't even have a clasp. I guess it's about 40 inches long, maybe 30 something. Yeah, about 30 something inches, I would think. And it's, wow, I love it. It's suspended like this. It appears to be a brass tone. I don't know if it's genuine brass, but it is so pretty. Oh, I love that. That is really nice. I like the length. I think it's so cool. We're so used to, you know, always doing the torque. And when you do these long necklaces, they're very flattering. I really do like them. 
Aren't they cool? This is a great chain too, but I'm going to have to replace that. That leather, faux leather they put in here and do something else. I'll figure something out. Because that chain is nice. And this is the other one. This is an interesting tone. It's kind of, I think it's supposed to be like an antiqued gold tone. Very elaborate piece here. Very, very extravagant here. in that kind of antiqued gold. That's the back of it there. Wow. That's pretty cool. Uh, this was just a broken chain that was tangled up in there. I don't think it's anything special. And we still had a bit of a tangle here. These wire ones are always so intrusive invasive okay this is um all acrylic all acrylic just a little kind of love bead thing and then this one is the wires those wires oh gosh and i it's horrible to say they're so such a culprit with tangling everything up but they actually look nice especially the pearl or the rhinestone ones, because they really float on your neck and they look so nice. How's the stream going so far? Have we had any trouble with the marling or anything? And thank you all who are here again. I appreciate it. Hey, Todd, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Todd, I need to wear that beautiful ring I bought from you again. I do wear it often, but I haven't worn it in a, in a video in a while. It's such a showstopper. I'm actually afraid to wear it. I'm afraid they're going to cut my finger off one day. It's so beautiful. If you're not following Silver Hair Stacker and you want to learn about reselling and making money, go watch his channel. You'll learn a lot. It still comes out every morning. Every morning, I believe, he is on YouTube. Love, Todd. Okay, yeah, here's the tangulations of the... This was expensive, $10. I love these gold chains, though. I'm sure that <laughs> we got one hook. <laughs> I'm sure it came apart in the jar, so. Very pretty in the sunny yellow, though. Don't you love sunny yellow jewelry? I do. And we got more of these. So there's two of these. I know. I. <laughs> hey, we all got to. We all got to leave some meat on that bone, too. But I don't think I will ever sell it, honestly, unless, you know, they've already told me, uh, Miss um, Thelma, you need to sell your, your stuff. Pay for your retirement. Then maybe I'll do it. But not yet. Look at this. Oh, this is cute. It looks like a little um, giraffe print, doesn't it? And this is metal that almost looks like an alligator tail. So ready for your safari. Yeah, that's what I could do, Todd. I could sell the jewelry and, and go to an African safari, do some traveling. I, I will. One day I may do that. Take all this jewelry and just make money. <laughs> make money and um, get some experiences, right? Yeah, I don't think so. I love jewelry. <laughs> that's not going to happen anytime soon, that's for sure. All right, here's the stretchy. Gold and silver tone. Still a good stretch on that. What is this? Looks It looks like the color of amber, but I'm sure it's just an acrylic thing. But it's very pretty. I don't like this too much. I would probably just like the beads by themselves. Right? I think that'd be pretty just by itself. Maybe mix it with some turquoise because it's got that really pretty glow of amber. But it's, I don't believe it is. I think it's just fee amber. Faux amber. Thanks again for hitting that thumbs up. I love these. Look at that. Gumball fun there. All wood. Someone's project, I'm sure. Or just someone's really craft from long ago because it's got a jump ring. It's got string that's just stretched and whatnot. 
but it's beautiful. Oh, speaking of whatnot, speaking of whatnot, please follow me on whatnot. That information is in the description as well, because I'm going to be doing a hoarders. I don't know how to, I don't know how to title it yet, but I know that the, the title will say the word hoarder. I was thinking of hoarder H-E double hockey sticks, but um, anyway, we're going to do crafting things over there. Ephemera. I mean, you won't believe it. And I think I'm going to do it tomorrow morning, Sunday morning. Because I try to, I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've tried to organize things and things fall on my head. Literally, they're going to find me five days after my death with something that hit me on the head that I was hoarding. And I, I'm tired of doing it. So there will be a sale tomorrow morning on TikTok. And we are clearing out the ephemera and the hoard and the Y2K everything it may have jewelry but mostly it's going to be ephemera and craft things maybe some comic books uh i, did, I ran into that too some old rolling stone magazines albums just everything 90s y2k you wouldn't even believe it if i told you so if you're interested if you're a crafter and still love to do that this is gorgeous join me on whatnot tomorrow morning uh if you have not become a member there or become part of the registered over there it's not a big deal they just take your information just like amazon does or anybody else you buy from and uh, there is a link in my description box this is kind of nice it needs a little cleaning that will earn you a 15 dollars credit on your first purchase from anyone not just me so use that if you would all that information in the description box I don't know, I may do a haul too, just to show you what kind of stuff I have. I really want to start using whatnot, not just for jewelry, but for everything. Here we go with the Y2K. These are back. Don't let anybody fool you that says, oh, those are out of style. Go to Macy's, go to Nordstrom. You'll see these in the racks. They are already coming, there, coming back. Coming back, the Y2K statement. They're, especially if they're, you know... A good brand, and they're well preserved, well taken care of. J. Crew did amazing ones. Uh, of course, Betsy Johnson. Look at this. Let's figure it out. Let's figure it out. Here it comes. Here it comes. Okay. Wow. Okay, it's festooned right there. These are the two stations going into pearls, multicolored metal there I like it again I love when they do the black and metal the juxtaposition of the glitz with the gritty okay we did find these these are cute these are so unique let me see if I can hang them real quick there's little Diamonds inside, but they're pretending to be diamonds because they're really rhinestones. They're trapped in a cage, and they're swirled, and they're gorgeous. Can you see those? I'm glad we found those. Those are very nice. And then we've got a very worn bangle, very thin bangle, more thin bangles. These are pretty much um, standards in a jewelry jar. They always, oh, this are, these are actually hoops. Oh, okay, these are these are earrings. Those are hoops. There we go. Happy New Year, Deborah. Thanks for being here. Oh, this was an anklet. Another anklet in brass. Kind of a brassy color. Rugged color there. Rustic, I mean. Okay, this is a Y2K remnant, too, that I kind of understood it. Never wore it, but I kind of understood it. It was kind of cute. I never saw it with hound's tooth, though. That's different. And then there are pearls. I'll probably put this in a crafter lot. Someone could put a hook on there and just make a standard necklace out of it. Pretty. They're kind of silvery. Silvery pearls look great. They could be a great imitation for Navajo bench bead pearls. Okay, I don't know why he's in there, uh, but there he is. A little toy. Okay, oh, these are pretty. That's a pretty earring. By itself, though. Let's see if it has a partner. Here's a stretchy. Interesting beads on there. 
They almost look like clay beads, but they're not. And they have rhinestones in them. Then we have Ascend. This is by someone. This is by Kate Spade. That's what it says, Kate Spade, Ascend. She did put quips on her jewelry. Very, very cool, Ascend. She always offered a little quip, a little inspirational quip. Yet again, more, more anklets. Very cool. Happy New Year to everyone popping in. I appreciate you being here. I'm sorry if I didn't say hello to everyone. Just trying to get through the jewelry as fast as I can with enough time to show it to you. This has some wear as well. Oh, have they really? Have you noticed that, Lily? I know that the stretches are really expensive. I mean, just take a look at, at Nordstrom's and Neiman's online. And you'll, I mean, the, granted, they might put Labradorite or something on them, but they're still stretch. And they're selling for over $200. This is a rubbery one. This is different with a pearl, a Baroque pearl there. Oh, look at this. This has the evil eye symbol, and this draws in. I love these draw-in bracelets. And it's probably a little bit of Kabbalah, a little bit of whatever, whatever, whomever. And this is, what does this say? Sophia. Sophia. I don't know a Sophia. Okay. More single hoops. I'll just put those aside. This is a little knit rope of pearl and gold, and it is coming apart. So I'm going to wrap it up real quick before all the beads start coming apart. Put it in a bag. Put it in a crafter lot. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me take a drink. <coughs> Thank you all who are here. I so appreciate it. Todd, 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 you know better than that. There is nothing not worth anything, Todd. You stick it in a box. You call it a crafter lot. You can sell it. You can give it away. People love it. I've sold many crafter lots. If anybody's interested in a crafter lot, please tell me about it in an email. And uh, there are people who also buy them and put them in their, oh, this is cool. This is, I don't think it's real hematite. It's the imitation one, but it's pretty. People with uh, antique boots, they'll put, you know, the, the better things, polish them up and whatnot, and stick them in a basket for 50 cents or something. There is no such thing as something that is not good. I, I can't tell you the craft, look, the crafting people do. I've showed that picture of that cat one of my subscribers made. Picture, uh, she did, they put them in picture frames. They make art. I, I did a lampshade once with a bunch of broken, oh, look at this, garnets and pearls with a bunch of uh, strands of pearls and gems. It was one of those really tall lamps for the floor, right? And they had rice paper on them. Do you remember those? They were very, they were all over World Market. Well, mine had come apart. So I fashioned something. This is absolutely fantastic. I wouldn't doubt if this is 14 karat gold. And um, just draped strands and strands of broken necklaces as the shade. And it was fantastic. So Todd, you know better than that. Look at that. Oh, I'll bet those are real garnets, real pearls, and gold. Definitely real pearls. I'll have to ask to test the gold, but I, it's very common to see these. These were a common occurrence in the 70s, um, semi-precious with some 14 karat gold and stuff, and all over the malls. It was not considered a big deal. Gold was cheap in the 70s, guys. Everybody was wearing it. Everybody was buying their gold. I wish I had bought more. Okay, I don't know what this is, but it looks interesting. It feels like plastic or acrylic it's on a faux leather thingy and it looks like candy it looks like that mexican candy that you can buy at the mexican restaurants when you're paying i forget what they call it calabaza i think i think it's got dulce de calabaza oh, it's so good it reminds me of my mom she loves it that's what it looks like here's another south asian beautiful piece look at that 
Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. And it's not too big and not too small. Some of these are tiny. Look at that. It's just encrusted with beauty. Rhinestones. Some of them look like garnets. Some little gold beads. That is a beautiful bangle. I love it. Boy, we got tons of those anklets. I think we've already gotten like four of these. Very cool. Okay, we got an artist rendition here with a seed. No, this is crocheted. Then we have seed beads. And there you go. There you go. Give it a fancy name. Make up a designer. And wear it. Oh, look at that. That's interesting, too. Single earring, though. I don't want to dwell on the single earrings. This is a little petite statement. It's a little whisper in yellow. Hello, the Belgian hippie, Heidi. How are you? I love that name, Heidi. I love the name Heidi and Johanna Gretchen. I love those names. So it is a rose quartz. Very nice piece, actually. I'm sure it's just mall jewelry, but it's made well. It's got that um, Alhambra design. Meaningful geometry there. Okay. Here we go. We did get the match to this pretty earring. I really like this one, too. These are crystal-like. They could be glass. They don't look like they've ever been worn. They still have their little stoppers in the back. And they're the color of champagne. Aren't those pretty? Those are very nice. We've got another lapis accompaniment here. So we had two of these. I mean, soda-like. More white, more calcite on that one. Look at this. This one says Moon and Lola. Kinetic Con Con Connor? Kinetic? I don't know. Gorgeous. Oh, this is pretty. Look, it's got the imitate. It's still tagged. Nice jar, wouldn't you say, for $50 so far? Give the video a thumbs up if you think it was a nice jar. Oh my gosh, I love that. That is so cool. I love imitation tortoise shell. Such a look. Such a classic look. <laughs> uh, I was an English major after all. <laughs> Before I became a classical language major. <laughs> I couldn't make up my mind. <laughs> Thanks, Todd. He, oh my gosh. He, she, he, she, he, she, and turquoise. Genuine, genuine he, she, genuine turquoise. Yes, I'll say it's a bingo. Let's say it. Bingo. I'll say we got a bingo just with this precious little thing. Love it. And we did get a match to these interesting things. that I, They look like they would be delicious candies. Don't they? <laughs> so cute. We got this that busted in here. Interesting beads. So we got some remnants in the bag hanging around. We got an, an earring, two earrings. Yeah, it looks like a pearl earring. No, it dangles in the middle. Oh my gosh, that's an interesting combination there. I, I thought it was two separate earrings. And these are pretty. Look at these. These look like amber. I bet they're imitation amber, but they're pretty. And we've got another pearl. I think it's I think it's a faux pearl. Nope, it's a real pearl. It's a real pearl. Here we got a stud. And uh, we've got some stretchies, more stretchies. And, wow, $50 bag, not bad, huh? Turquoise colored, kind of Mardi Gras style, but they do have a, a 
little clasp there, a jump ring. This is filthy. I'll bet it's beautiful when it's clean. And it is marked. What is it? I bet it says Hong Kong. Feels like that really tinny material that um, usually came from Hong Kong or somewhere. Oh, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. Germany. Germany. It actually says Germany. I was looking at the wrong side. And it said, um, can't see what I need to clean that magnifying glass. It's it. I was looking at the little dots there, but it's Germany. Look how pretty though, all acrylic. But I'm gonna clean it up. I think it's gonna be cool. I really do. 101 thumbs up. 68 people said no. I don't think I'm gonna do a thumbs up. But honestly, I I ask you to rethink it. Go over by the screen and hit that thumbs up. And while you're down there. There is a subscription. It is free, always. Hit the subscription and then hit the little bell and you'll always get notified when I do a live video, when I do a recorded video, and you won't have to look for it. Oh, nice bracelet in rose gold tone. Maybe brassy. I mean, coppery. Very pretty. Look, it's got that pretty rose gold color. And they are prong set. Prong set rhinestone bracelet. That's pretty nice, don't you think? Hey, Tanya, how are you? Look at that. I kind of like that. Very different. It almost looked like it was beaded for some reason. It's really cool. And I don't see anything missing. I like that. A little kid's. And a little agate with lots of other pretty ones here. And this is a sterling finding on the jump ring. Oops, I hope that jump ring is not broken. Sometimes they don't shut. There it goes. That's an agate, right? And look at all those pretty little gemstones. That's pretty. I love when these are not stretched, especially when they're genuine stones because they can get heavy and then they break. And we did find the match on these that I suspect are imitation amber, but I'm not sure. They're not sterling, they're silver tone. We got a turtle hanging on for dear life on this beaded necklace. He's carved from a rock. That is the cutest little bracelet too, did I say necklace? Bracelet, it's so cute. I'd rather put him on a necklace though. I would be afraid of banging him around too much. We got the match to these beautiful silvery. I wonder if these are silver or anything. Let me take a look. No, they look silver tone, but they're very pretty. Very pretty earrings. And boy, that's a beautiful purple. It's not like the color of amethyst. Looks like a cross between Mystic and Amethyst. Very cool. Then there's purple ones. And it, we did find the match to this one as well. This earring, kind of a tree of life design with a black stone on the end. Yeah, here they are. These are cool. They kind of remind me of winter, a little birch tree or something there. Very cool. Trying to find every little piece here because that's where you find the stuff. Look at that. An I mean, a bear, a turquoise bear on sterling. But where is your mate? Where is your mate? Let me look in here. I think he's alone. He's a lone elephant. I don't see him, but I may have gotten another jar. Oftentimes, I do find things in the other jars when I find more than one. So wish me luck with that. I appreciate your time today. I will see you next time. I will be on live tomorrow for the reveal and for the We Must Give. <laughs> 
it was a contest. And if you didn't watch the video, go watch it from the last live, Thelma's live podcast videos and heart to heart videos. And then you'll understand it won't require so much explanation, but it will require your presence to win, 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 win. Love you guys so much. Have a great night. Bye-bye.